catch all the JJ episodes now on Yippee! Tracy's Snuggly Blanket. It was a special morning in Terrytown, and JJ couldn't wait to join his friends for a very big event. Ready to roll, guys? Ready, JJ! Come on, Tracy. We don't want to be too late to sign up for the Terrytown Scavenger Hunt. I'll be there in a minute! The Terrytown Scavenger Hunt always brought good friends together. Tracy especially loved this game. But why was she taking so long to get going this morning? There's one last thing I need before I go. Some time with my snuggly blanket. Yes, Tracy had a favorite snuggly blanket. Just being with it made her feel good inside.
While JJ, Herky, and Snuffy went to find Brenda Blue, Tracy decided to sneak in a few minutes of snuggly blanket time. Tracy? Uh-oh, it's JJ. Sorry, Snuggly Orkley. I can't let him see us together. Oh, there you are. Listen, I have great news. Uh, what's up? Brenda Blue is going to make a scavenger hunt list for us. Come on. Uh, you go, JJ. I I'll be right along. Oh, uh, okay. But hurry. Another close call. Poor Tracy. She was almost caught with her snuggly blanket again. That's what's so difficult about having a secret. The longer you try to keep it, the harder it is to hide. You know... Maybe I'm too old for a baby blanket. If I don't want to be laughed at, I should give you up. That's right. I'm a big play now. I really do have to give you up. I'm sorry, blanket. Really, I am. I, I guess this means goodbye. won't be seeing you anymore. Yes, Tracy was going to try to stay away from her snuggly blanket. But this decision didn't make her happy. It only made her sad. Okay, everybody, here we go. Now, I'm going to read you a riddle. When you figure out what it means, find the object and bring it to me. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay here we go. I'm full of water, but lighter than air. That's a really hard one. Let's see. She said the word air. So let's head for the sky and see if we can find the answer there. Let's go! Oh, Tracy, just a minute. We're good friends, aren't we? Best. Good. Because I've noticed you've been looking a little sad lately. And I just wanted to let you know, if there's anything you need to talk about, anything at all, you can talk to me. Thanks, Brenda. I'll remember that. The kids looked all over for the answer to the riddle. But what could it be? And as the day wore on, Tracy began to miss her snuggly blanket more and more. And she was enjoying herself less and less. Yes, Tracy, you don't look like you're having much fun. Are you catching a cold? Maybe you need a cup of hot chocolate or the warm blanket. Blanket? Who needs a blanket? Not me! Oh no, I never need a blanket. The kids searched high. And they searched low. And then they searched high again. Tracy was finding that the more she tried to stay away from her snuggly blanket, the more she missed it. So she had returned to her hangar for a visit. But to her amazement, her old friend was gone. It's missing! What's missing, Tracy? It's not here! It's not there! It's not here! Tracy, what, what are you looking for? I feel too silly to say, but I've got to find it. Well, it will help you find it, but we don't know what you're looking for. Maybe we can still help. After all, we're top-notch scavenger hunters now, right? What? JJ, Herbie, and Snuffy cared about Tracy so much, they helped her with her search even though they didn't know what was lost. But at the end of the day, Tracy couldn't find what she was looking for, and neither could the boys. I give up. It's not anywhere. Brenda Blue said I could talk to her about anything. Maybe I should talk to her about this. Well, that sounds like a 
good idea. Brenda? Yeah? Well, Tracy's got something she needs to tell you. It's real important. Okay. What's up, Tracy? I've lost my snuggly blanket. I've had it ever since I was little, but I didn't want anybody to know about it because I thought I was too old to need it. But now, I feel so unhappy without it. You guys must think I'm acting like a baby. Go ahead and laugh if you want to. Aw, oh, Tracy, we never think that about you. Never. Ever. What I do think is, if you're not ready to give up your snuggly blanket, you don't have to. I don't? No way! We all have things we hang on to to make us feel good. I never go to sleep without my nightlight. I still listen to Kitty Copter sing a love song on my radio. And I still like to drink out of a baby bottle sometimes. Tracy, I want to show you something. Meet Miss Cindy Bloomer. I've had her since I was your age. She brings back so many childhood memories. I'd never dream of giving her up. Wow, and you're a grown-up. Thanks, everybody. I feel much better now. But where could my blanket be? Tracy, I can solve that riddle.